This video is an exploration of the topic graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax plus b fractional slope. These types of problems concern the process of graphing the equation of the form f of x equals ax plus b when a is a fraction. Let's look at the equation f of x equals 3 over 2x plus 5. To graph this line, we are going to find three points and then plot them. I thought we only needed two points to be able to draw a line. That is true. Just two points are needed to determine a line, but plotting three points allows us to check our work. If the three points do not form a line, then we know an error was made along the way. To find three points, we can make a table with two columns, x and f of x. You can choose what x values you want to use for the three points. In this example, we will use 0, 1, and 2. Now we will substitute each x value into the function to solve for the corresponding f of x value. And put 0 for x. We have 3 over 2 times 0 plus 5. Anything times 0 is 0, so this simplifies to 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5. Therefore, the first point is 0, 5. Next, and put 1 for x. The function becomes 3 over 2 times 1 plus 5. Since anything times 1 is itself, 3 over 2 times 1 is 3 over 2. This simplifies to 3 over 2 plus 5. To add these, we need to find a common denominator. The fraction 3 over 2 has a denominator of 2. We need to transform 5 into a fraction that has a denominator of 2. We can do this by multiplying 5 by 2 over 2. This is valid because 2 over 2 is equal to 1, and a number multiplied by 1 maintains its value. We can rewrite 5 as 5 over 1 because a number divided by 1 is equal to that same number. To find what 5 over 1 times 2 over 2 equals, we must first multiply across the numerator and then multiply across the denominator. Multiplying across the numerator, 5 times 2 equals 10. Multiplying across the denominator, 1 times 2 equals 2. The final fraction is 10 over 2. Now we have a common denominator, so we can add the two fractions. 3 over 2 plus 10 over 2 is equal to 13 over 2, or 6.5. Therefore, the second point is 1, 6.5. Can you calculate the last point? Sure. First input 2 for x. The function becomes 3 over 2 times 2 plus 5. 3 over 2 times 2 simplifies to 3 because the 2's on the numerator and denominator cancel each other out. So then we have 3 plus 5, which is equal to 8. So the last point is 2, 8. That's correct. Now we plot the points on the coordinate plane. Let's plot each point. First, 0, 5. Next, 1, 6.5 and last, 2, 8. After plotting the points, we make sure that a line can be drawn through them. We know we did the problem correctly because these three points form this line. 